Greetings. We're going to do an exercise here that introduces you to something called Jamovi. It's an easier way to do statistical analyses, and I think you're going to like it. And we're going to start small. So what I'd like you to do is on your computer, go to the Jamovi website, jamovi.org forward slash cloud.html. That's going to give you access to Jamovi on the cloud. You can, if you want, actually install it on your own computer if you want, but we don't need to do that because we're not really going to even come anywhere close to using up the time necessary. So when you do that, click on the start button down here. And the first time that you log on, it will ask you if you want to log on with a particular ID. I said yes, and I used my Gmail address, but you can do anything you want. You can even stay anonymous if you'd like. This then starts up the Genovi session. And what we're gonna do is correlation coefficients and a regression. And much like R, the ANSCOM data set is readily available, so we can just call that in and do a couple of quick analyses. To do that, come up here to the upper left-hand corner and select the Open button. And then to locate the ANT, there's a whole bunch of data sets there to locate the ANSCOM data set. You can type those few in, and it then loads the ANSCOM data set in for you. Before we can do our analysis, we need to make sure that these variables are at the level of measurement that we would like. And you'll notice up here in this top row, it has three little overlapping circles. That's Jamobi telling you, hey, I'm going to treat these as if they are categorical variables. And that's not what we want. We want them to be continuous. So <clears throat> let's select these four variables that are categorical and right click, and then select the setup button. And rather than have it be a nominal, we're going to say these are continuous measures. And then we can hit the up arrow, and now everything is continuous. Now let's do our analysis. The first thing we'd like to do is to calculate the correlation coefficients for the first data set. Regression button, and select correlation matrix. And what we'd like to do is to have the X variable from the first data set and the Y variable from the first data set. Notice it's showing us the correlations there. We can flag the significance level and it will show us the little asterisks that indicate that. And we can also generate the confidence intervals. The other thing we can do is to create a plot of our correlation matrix. And it gives us a little graph down here. And we might also want to select the densities for that. And what you see down here is a little picture of X1 and Y1. And these lines here in the middle give you a rough idea of what the shape of the distribution looks like. And the correlation between the two is expressed by means of this regression line along with the confidence interval. Well, that's great. Let's go down now and do a regression. So we'll again click the regression button and we'll come down here and we will select linear regression. And as before, we have to say what predictor do we want to have or covariate and what criterion do we want to have Y1. And it comes downstairs and calculates the regression for you. <clears throat> Maybe we would like to have information about the particular fits. These numbers here underneath estimates give us the intercept and the slope. We can refine that a little bit and we can ask for the confidence interval around that. And notice now it gives us the confidence interval on the regression weight. Sometimes people look at standardized coefficients. That's what happens if you pretend that all of the variables in your regression have a mean of zero and variance of one. I can get the standardized estimate here. Notice that that standardized estimate is exactly the same as our correlation. 
And I can also calculate a confidence interval on that standardized estimate. So yay, now we've done our wonderful analyses. Let's come up here and copy, right click and copy the entire analysis. And says, yay, I copied it. And then we can come back into say Excel and we can then paste that. And here's our numbers. Now, if you wanna clean some of this up, you can maybe delete some of these columns, but we don't need to worry about cleaning it up at this point. So now we have this in Excel. Let's go back to our other analysis. Downstairs here, our regression model. And let's do the same thing. Let's copy that and come back into Excel. And you can paste that down here. It's a lot easier to work with table data inside of Excel. So this gives you a picture of what you need to know. That's it. That's all I want you to do. So let me know if there are any questions. And I'll look forward to seeing this activity, hopefully a little less painful than it was having people go right into RStudio Cloud. Thanks.